This is our new channel, What's Cooking, and today, what's cooking? today, What's Cooking, is going to be a Hello Fresh meal. It is a um, I don't remember what it is. Well, why don't we just show them what it is? Show them what it is. So let me turn here. Let me flip. All right, because I suck. Crispy Southwest chicken cutlets. Doesn't that look tasty? It does look very mm. tasty. Now. I would say normally in the start, because this is our first video on our new channel, What's Cooking, we would have done an unbagging and everything else, but there were some technical difficulties. One of the sour creams exploded. Y'all can figure out the rest. However, we have so much extra stuff from previous Hello Fresh Meals. So yeah, there you go. That we're going to add a little bit of smorgage to it. I mean, we're, I mean, we're just broccoli and extra stuff, whatnot. So, but we come over here, got our potatoes, got our skillet, we got our pot, you know. I'm gonna still gonna cut up and do the prep. Yep, yeah, and I'm pretty sure we have to preheat the oven as well. Yeah. yeah. So, we'll flip it around here. 425. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's horrible. That is horrible, horrible, horrible. I'm using my phone. Alright, so here we got right here. The first step is to adjust the rack top positions for 425 wash and dry all produce. Got it. So we're going to start with the uh, potatoes there and uh, we'll start cutting everything up. So we ready to roll? I'm ready to see to do what's cooking. To do what's cooking? Mm -hmm. It's an action mm. verb. What's cooking? I don't see any action from you though. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, so here I am. I'm going to start chopping up the potatoes because that's what it told me to do. So um, I'm super stoked about this new channel. Uh, some of you that are going to be watching this are probably going to be curious about why we started another channel because we did have our other channel, the Open Road channel, and, um, well... Here's the thing, guys. It just doesn't work when you have a bunch of different stuff going on on one channel. That really confuses a lot of different people of what it is you're actually doing. So we decided just to um, start separating stuff. So we started with what's cooking. And on this channel, we plan on doing a bunch of cooking, a bunch of grilling. I mean, it's just what we do i mean we are always doing these hello fresh meals and and they're great i i love the hello fresh meals to be honest with you uh we got a bunch coming in uh that they've completely changed up on there there is a family pasta and meatball one i cannot wait i mean i'm a huge pasta fan i grew up in an italian family pasta runs in my blood so what you doing sell she's gonna sell so I do got to watch the counter though because I only have about 35 minutes to work with to get everything recorded. So there is a lot of editing to be done and cut out. That's what the great thing apart about it is. But I'm using my cell phone because instead of using my expensive camera and have everything propped up and the video probably looking that much better. I really don't got somebody to stand behind it, so it's it's I can't be running back and forth. So I'm gonna pause this and um, finish cutting up these potatoes. We're gonna get the potatoes going, and I'm gonna get some of these other vegetables cut up. Boom! There's Tiffany. And um, oh yeah, yeah, because that's a horrible introduction for all you new people. I'm Eric, and this is my wife Tiffany. Hi, I'm not his wife. Oh, she's not my wife. I sleep in the bed with her, so I don't know. Anyhow, so, yeah. So we're going to be, uh, all kinds of new stuff coming. I'm going to get to these potatoes. Alright, so I guess we're going to do step two with these vegetables and throw them on a pan. 
You seem excited too about it. So there's not enough pepper because one of them was missing. We tried to put one of our peppers in there. Yeah, so those are poblano peppers and a couple other peppers. Now the poblano pepper, yeah, uh, pl poblano. Mm -hmm. Those peppers. Yeah, the poblano. Them, them peppers there, they they are a little bit uh, have a spicy sweetness to them. So. And we just had a couple spare carrot sticks in the fridge. We're trying to use so that we don't waste anything from Which, our last bag. Also, I'm let. let when you order your Hello Fresh and anything that comes with carrots in it, I'm like, they were super friendly with their carrots. So. And I'm gonna cover this with a little bit of olive oil. Set the drizzle with olive oil, and okay. then salt and pepper. There's some salt and pepper in that bowl right there. Oh, okay. Nice and ready to go. And then this is gonna go in the oven. Um, and cook for five minutes while we get the coating ready for the chicken. Let's get those in there. What's the temperature of the oven? 425. All right. All right, now that those are going, we're going to make the topping for the chicken. So, um, we're going to need the cheese. We got the cheese. A drizzle of olive oil. <coughs> Half the chili powder, one teaspoon of the Southwest spice, salt and pepper. So we have some of that salt and pepper here. And it's half this South chili powder spice, which my daughter said is very spicy, and I don't do spice very well. So we're gonna get a light on that. Definitely go light. Alright, and then the Southwest warm and spicy. They like spicy. What's well, Southwest? Yeah. So we're going to go easy on this as well. Just a little, just a smidgen. A smidgen? Just a smidgen. That's smidgen. an accurate measure. That's an accurate measure? Yep. A smidgen? And then we're going to come So like a the, frosty pigeon? The panko. Who's winning? This cheese is one right now. <clears throat> so they send you these perfect little portion baggies. They're all about portion control. Well, that's cheese for sure. and breadcrumbs. Now HelloFresh does not, by all means, give you everything that you need because they don't supply no. the oils. They don't supply the butters. Yeah, sometimes you have to add a couple things, but. but we've been doing HelloFresh for a good minute now, and we we've come to realize to. You know that we have different stuff. Just you just can use a big old knife to open it. Oh, don't do because it wasn't trying to open there. What do you got there? These are the panko breadcrumbs. Now what is now? This is going to be the mixture that the topping that goes on the, the topping chicken. that goes on the chicken. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. And, you know, you can like add to this if you wanted to. You, know, you want to add a little bit of garlic or whatever, spice it up a bit. You can always do that. We try to stick with the recipes, at least the first time around. Definitely the first time around. So you have that. She doesn't like to use wisps or nothing. You can't whisk this. It's seasoning and cheese. Yeah, you whisk it right up. Look at that mad wisping spoon skills. Yep. Mad spoon skills. Mad spooning. So you can see mine is not as red as it is in the picture because they use way more of that Tuscan heat spice. And, um, oh, is that what that was? A Tuscan heat spice? Yeah, we're not going to go there. Yeah. So they actually use that Tuscan heat spice with a lot of their different pastas they have. And that stuff is not, it's more heat than Tuscan. I'll it tell you that much. Definitely. All right, so now we have our topping mixed here. And it says, while veggies roast, we need to pat our chicken, season it with salt and pepper, 
We're gonna brush the tops of it with these sour creams here. Sour creams. And then we're gonna put this breading and cheese mixture on top of the chicken. What's the ch ch the chili sauce? Where's that go? Um, it looks like it's served on the side. Oh, okay. So yeah. that you don't mix it with the sour cream and put it on there. No, uh, it's served with so sauce for drizzling at the end. Oh, okay. So this is gonna be like um a, a cream based chicken, and then you put your toppings on it, kind of like the Tuscan chicken. No. No. The 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 topping on it crisps. This is a crispy chicken. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, guys. Well, um, guess we're gonna start getting this chicken all prepped up, and then we'll be right back. Hey, I see you got them zucchinis over there. Yeah, just that we had a half of a zucchini left over in the refrigerator, and so we we really hate wasting good vegetables. So yeah, definitely. I sliced them up into little in little rounds, and we have some Kerrygold Irish butter. Carry gold some Irish salt butter. and pepper on these guys, and we're just going to saute them up. And then when our roasted vegetables come out of the oven, um, throw a couple of these little zucchinis on what's, them. What's, what's the difference between some margarine and some carry golds? Carry golds butter is Irish butter. Um, well, you know, margarine is that fake oil stuff. But carry golds butter is real butter, and it's imported, and it's very flavorful and rich. It's very expensive, too. So um, for a little tub of butter like this for carry gold, it's like four bucks. Yeah. But it's very good. It's very flavorful. It's not something you put on toast, but it's something that goes really I have put it on toast. And veggies and stuff like that. I have to disagree. If well, you can afford it, I have put it on I toast. Guess if you can afford it, but that's not really what it's for. Yeah, I know. But it was, it's magically delicious. So we're going to roast these up here in the uh, in the skillet. Yep. And um, get them all nice and soft, serve them up with our vegetable melody. We still got our uh, potatoes going and. Again, now we are going to go back to the chicken. Using the freezer bag, just because you know. They so doesn't, goo doesn't fly everywhere. Pretty much, yeah. So start beating my chicken. Bad chicken. Like it owes me money. Bad chicken. We do this with a lot of our chickens. When we grill chicken, when we barbecue chicken, oh, yeah. it cooks a lot faster and more evenly because the chicken's not so thick. Because you get your chicken, you, you got the tail of it, right? And then it's just like, keep it small, and then this is big and thick, and you know, wah, wah, wah. And look how much bigger the chicken is now. Yeah. So we're going to take some chicken and I have a pan over here, it's where it goes. So we were going to, I just wanted to demonstrate what I'm doing here. So I'm going to smash a couple more of these out. Smash. And then we're going to get them on a the pan because I'm pretty sure you're going to oil that pan up. So why smash this chicken? Tiff's going to get that pan up and then we're going to bring you back to the coating. Let's check on these zucchinis over here. Oh look how they look, they look so pretty. These pretty zucchinis. Put that delicious butter in there. And they smell so good. Speaking of zucchinis, I have some really nice zucchini plants growing outside in the back. I can't wait until they finish. We're going to have nice zucchinis for days. Tons of zucchinis. We're going to be cooking all kinds of zucchini dishes for you guys. Because we're going to have lots and lots of zucchinis. Zucchinis. Alright. And that's what's cooking. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So we're back. I got the chicken all pounded out. Um, got well, there's broccoli added to the zucchini now. Didn't see that there before. Yeah. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna get Tiffany here. She's gonna show you what we're gonna do with this chicken. Okay. So now we're on step three: coat the chicken. Eric has um, got it nice and thin for us over here on the pan. So the first thing we're going to do is use this salt and pepper that we have here and we're just going to sprinkle it over top of the chicken, give it a nice even coating of salt and pepper. And I only want you to do it on one side so we don't have to flip it over. Make sure you have enough. That looks pretty good, don't you think? I think so. Alright. Some big old chicken breasts. They too. are big chickens. So now... In this bowl, I have the sour cream from the packets of HelloFresh. And what we're going to do with it is we're going to smear it across the tops of the chickens. And they 
they use that to keep the breadcrumb and cheese mixture there. Smear it. So, we're gonna take... Look at that fresh green broccoli in there. Just looks good, doesn't away. it? Yeah. So we're just gonna smear a little bit of sour cream over tops of these chickens. Man, that is delicious. There is another chicken recipe that I cannot wait to do again. Um, we did it on our open road channel. And I might just add it and just edit it a little bit. Um, and put it on this channel here. Just for all my new viewers to see. Which one was it? The, um, the garlic oh, chicken. Oh, the garlic herb chicken on the grill? Oh my that god. That was delicious. Yeah. That came out I, really good. I can't take props for that. That was a copycat recipe. From another YouTuber that we follow, um, he's a I don't know he's like a Mad Hatter as a chef. He's just one crazy dude making some amazing food. That's for sure. All right, so now that we have all of the areas of this chicken covered, so that's sour cream. Just to be note that that is sour cream. We are pasting it's on sour this cream. Arriba. And now we have the breadcrumbs and cheese and the Tuscan heat seasoning that we flipped together earlier said it looks a little bit redder on the card because I don't like a lot of heat so we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle this around pat it down some so it sticks that looks delicious it does look delicious, delicious. should you cover up all that sour cream I will I know try to cover all the spots so I mean this is like I said this is the first our first video for this channel um, and to be honest with you, we have been, it's been going on, been a lot of hiccups and bumps. What it takes to be about 10, 15 minutes to do, we spent over an hour and a half already filming this. Um, so it's going to be an interesting edit. Anyhow, but we have so much more to come. So much grilling activities to do. Activities. Hell yeah. Having still, I have a Blackstone flat top out there that I didn't understand at first. I was very new to flat top grilling, and um, I may or may not let some weather get to it. So the wife said I can order a new one, but then she kind of made me feel guilty about ordering it. She was so devious about it. She's like, oh. Like, you guys ever see that commercial with the dollar bill commercial and the fishing pole? That's what I felt like. All right, now it wants us to drizzle a light coating of oil, olive oil. Well, that's not really olive oil. This is avocado oil. It's avocado oil. It's a little reflection of, of oil that. over there. All right, and now we're going to put it in the oven. It says 18 to 20 minutes. All right, so. Put that in here with these veggies. It says 8:31. That's not the right time, but I could use that 31 and go from there. So we are going to let everything cook and. Uh, We'll get everything plated, I think, and, uh, well, we'll do it halfway. So, oh, she's taking those veggies out. Let's see these veggies. Yeah, we don't want them to burn in there. They look like they're pretty done. Yeah, they look Cajun. They don't look Cajun. They look <laughs> beautiful. They look Cajun. Cajun. They don't look Cajun. Some green broccolis. And these couple pieces of zucchini we have in there in the mix. Alright guys, see you in a minute. Alright everybody, so we just took our chicken out of the oven. Eric wants to take a quick peek at that and show you all how that came out. It's nice and brown and yeah, crisp. Beautiful. So we're going to get our mashed potatoes ready to go here. And um, we have already drained them, and we're going to use some of that Kerrygold butter that I told you guys about. Look how yellow it is. It is delicious. It is so, such delicious If I was butter. one of those weird people just to eat, you know, butter sticks, I'd definitely eat that. And then, um, I, like I said, my other two things of sour cream and the Tumble Fresh meal got smashed. So, luckily I have some sour cream in my fridge. I'm just going to use the rest of that. Most definitely. And if you guys are curious what's going on over here, my daughter and... This guy. Oh, hello. They also are doing a Hello Fresh meal. What are you guys cooking tonight? We are having a chive, creamy chive chicken with um, garlic herb couscous. Oh, that sounds delicious. But delicious. Uh, delicious. Delicious. Mine's delicious. It might be delicious. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this. Angry mashing. 
He's mashed. Oh my goodness. We didn't, uh, we gotta put salt and pepper in there. Too, yeah. Put some salt and pepper in there. Yeah, I had a salt and pepper laid out, but they must have used it. Yeah, well. Okay, well. That's alright. Look at the mashing go. Just smashing them up. Smashing! And the directions say if they're too thick to add some of the reserved mashed potato water. I don't do that. I either use more butter or some cream or some I'm sorry. Milk. Mashed potato water just sounds like using hot dog water. I ain't, I ain't down with that. Hey, doggies! Alright, so I'm going to cut this because my dogs are uh, barking. And I'm going to add some either cream or milk to these and we'll be back. Alright guys, so I decided that they had these chives they're not going to use. So I am going to use them. I'm going to put them. Go ahead. And though mashed potatoes. Look at this one handedly. They go pretty smooth, so I think I got most of the ones Smooth. Smooth criminal. And this is all Hello Fresh. Chicken, 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 chicken. All right, guys, we're gonna get this plated. All right, you guys. So here's a finished product. You got the chicken, mashed potatoes, mixed veggies, and whatnot. Doesn't that look delicious? Nice and crispy. Yummy. Yummy. So we're going to uh, take it away and flip this camera over. Alright guys, so we have the uh, food. There's Tiffany. Hi. There's me. That's Ozzy underneath barking like crazy because he's a butthead. Um, please grab me that sprayer. I'm gonna spray my dog as he barks. We're trying to train him. <laughs> Anyhow, like, comment, subscribe below. We have a lot more Hello Fresh. Where's a damn fly in here? to come a lot more grilling to come a lot home cooking to, you know we have all kinds of different stuff we're going to be doing on this channel and that's what's cooking and that's what's cooking so until next time you guys